What's Chaz and characters? It's the Chaz here, back with another chalicious episode of the Chaz Academy Chronicles, part the Chazening. Yeah. Right after I had that special needs, what's poppin' peeps? It's your boy Coops, back with another GX spoof. So, going on the board here, this next one is just a random duel that, um, Jaden had with Bastion. There really isn't too much context, he just, Bastion is just impressed with how Jaden duels and wanted to duel Jaden. That's really all there is to it. <laughs> I wish there was more, but this is, I mean, this isn't really an, a very important duel at all. <laughs> so... Unless this is the one where Chaz fights, but then again, they would make me... Yeah, no, this is... this is. I, I, at this point, either now or before, or after, I think it was after, uh, Chaz has already left and had his, like, myth fit that I talked about before from losing the Bastion and being kicked out, like, I don't want to be a yellow! Yeah! So he, like, leaves, goes to this other island academy, becomes their champion, and then comes back to fight Jane, which is going to be that one up there, as you can chat, check by, um him wearing the black jacket. Anyway. It's time, duelist, to find out who will represent our most illustrious academy at the annual duel school. Oh yeah, this is what this fight was about, to pick the which uh, first year was going to um, represent the school duel with the North Academy that Chaz went to. Spoiler alert, even though I just said it. He wins there, Jane wins this one, and then they clash later. That's really all there is. There's nothing really about this one at all. <laughs> the Vicknow will take on North Academy. Introducing first the run from the Raw Dorm, Bastion Misawa. Mm, yes. And then from Slifer, mm, some kid. Here we go. Good luck, pal. I appreciate the sentiment, but with the deck I prepared, I don't need luck. We'll see about that. Mm, I've computed my victory before the duel begins. It's simply a matter of showing my work. Mm, yes. Yeah. Go ahead and duel this. So I guess while this duel is going on, I'm going to explain what kind of happens after all this, because apparently they're going to skip a lot of the Shadow Rider arc. Um, so, let's start out. So the first one that shows up in the Shadow Rider arc, is a dude named Darkness or Night Shroud, depending on your version. He He's actually, technically, the Night Shroud is the Bakora of this series, and he comes back later as the bigger threat, but right now he's just the, one of the minor antagonists. Um, Jane duels him and gets the um, Red Eyes deck, and it uh, turns out, hey, from that mask, it was actually Lex's brother being possessed. Woohoo! So they found Atticus at that point. And that mystery was solved, the mystery that nobody bothered to solve. Then after that was a vampire lady called Camula, who, again, used vampires. And I really wish she was actually in this um, game, because I would love to be able to um, use her with vampires, because I have a lot of vampire cards, and I'd love to be able to use that, but unfortunately, I don't think that they have her in here. I think it's just going to skip right to the final guy. Uh, well, we can fuse our boy again. Let's do it. Let's just let's, let's fuse our boy. Let's fuse our boy Terraformer. Um, but yeah, she has a, she has a big like push. Camilla is a villain on like Night Shroud who lost first duel. So first off, Crowler fights her. He loses. Then Zane fights her. He loses. But then Jaden comes in, wins, because he's Jaden, and saves the day that way. Um, then after that, the other Shadow Riders were kind of not... The other Shadow Riders were not that important. There's Tanya, who uses Amazon. She was like, discount, buff my, whatever. Bastion lost to her, because... I have a crush on big muscly women. Crush me between your thighs, my goddess. <laughs> And then Jaden won that one. Jaden ended up winning a lot of these. The fourth one, you know, it, it's so... The fourth and fifth one are kind of really forgettable. That I forget who they are, really. I think one of them was like a dual spirit. One of them was like some pharaoh guy. And then... 
lord, I'm having a hard time remembering. Oh, okay, wait, no, now I remember. Yeah, one of them was some Pharaoh guy, like I mentioned before. Chaz Duel one. Yeah, he then uh, one of the other ones that showed up was uh, Titan again. So Titan actually um, showed up resurrected by Shadow Prowess or whatever, brought back by the main villain bad guy, old bad guy man, who we'll probably see at the end of this. He's probably at least here in some form or fashion. So I'll I'll save that for when we get to that. Um, um, Alexis redeems herself, wins that battle. Uh, and then afterwards, the big super shocker is that the Asian teacher guy? Yeah, he was actually one of the Shadow Riders too. He was, um, Aminil, and this is where it gets really weird, because apparently this guy long since died, and he was using homunculuses to extend his life, and I don't... Your guess is as good as mine with that one. Seriously, when they when they wanted to get, like, weird with GX and not just have it be, like, a, a comedy duel spoof hour... They got really weird with it. But again, I'm just kind of butchering all of the, the different little explanations. If you want to, again, I should have stressed before, if you want to see this in all full detail, if you've never, ever seen the anime in your life, go and check it out to see what you're missing. But again, um, probably you have already seen it for the most part. If you're, if you're even watching this, I think the only people who would really have interest in this is the one who would, um, grew up with GX and kind of, um, have an opinion based on it. Mathematician! He draws a card. Well, we... What a good effect. Well, that's not gonna save you from Terra Firma, the boss of this deck. Obviously. It's like Wingman, what you're talking about? Uh, I lost... It's because I had a bit of prick in my eye. Mm. <laughs> That's probably his excuse. Just dab on him, Jaden. <laughs> no, I know nobody could see that. I'm a failure at life. Okay. But yeah, I only I only did that right now because I I doubt with how the story mode's going. I doubt any of them are in it, <laughs> which sucks. Because they would have been some of the more interesting characters to play as. But oh well. Oh man, this is bad. Jane lost his monsters and his field spell. Oh, Cyrus, I didn't lose any, and I never, I never had a field. Oh no, I did have a field spell. I didn't lose that either. That's it, Master. Slow the slife, a slacking sludge. Wow, all right, alliteration crawler. Did you make the Sonic ones? Who's boss? I'll tell you, Bastion. I don't think I've ever had more, had a more fun duel. He probably had. He's just he's being lame. I enjoyed it as well. I will continue to, especially when I beat you. Actually, I'm ending this now. Here goes. I lose. I wish they would have um shown how he lost, because I don't really remember this duel. But I guess neither did the Konami. So there you go. You beat me fair and square, Jaden. Rather, you beat this dick, but rest assured, there will be another. I've got my father's credit card. And another duel, I hope. Till then. Yes, until then, and we shall, as the cool kids say, mm, get our game on. Never say that again, motherfucker. <laughs> you make Duel Academy proud in the school duel. Count on it! And there we go. Alright, so, I need a one or two. What dices do I have? A one and three. Well, we'll just use the one. That'll move us a space. And we'll get the story thing guaranteed. Because I want to make sure that we get these guaranteed. So they added just plus one. Shout out to them for doing that. Yeah, but here we go with what, the sh what uh, Chaz was doing. Chaz is lost at sea until he's rescued by an old man and Ojama Yellow. Oh yeah, the Ojamas. They become the main staple in the lanes of his deck. At North Academy, Chaz wins a 50-man duel gauntlet and becomes the school's new leader. Well done, you've earned the right to be called the best. It's you, the guy who rescued me. But how did you get into the school? I'm a school chancellor. The name's Forster. No way! 
Everything I did was just to get you, young duelist. To me? What for? Because you have a gift, and I sensed it as soon as you hand the large on my yellow card. You are now the best duelist at North Academy. That means you'll be our representative in the school now. So I'm going up against someone from Duel Academy? That's right. So who's the unlucky punk I'm dueling? The one called Jane Yuki. Jaden, you've gotta be kidding! This will be like the third time we duel already! Shit, some originality, guys, come on! No, this is your chance to revenge. Revenge? I can't wait. I'm gonna beat him so bad he'll never want to duel again. Ah, oh, even this Chaz voice for so long is really hurting my throat now all of a sudden. As our school's new top duelist, I present him North Academy's top dueling cards. Here's a bunch of really shitty standstone cards. Nobody wants them. Just to throw them in the trash. Oh, here we go. The signature line. Oh boy. <laughs> Fucking four kids, dude. With them, you will triumph. Oh yeah, I guess the arm dragons from them. That's right. <laughs> a lot of laughing from him. God damn it. But normally they'd be like, man, show me. Thunder! Thunder! If you're a weep. But we got the privilege <laughs> of chanting up. Dual Academy is toast and about to get chazzed. And so will Jaden. Mm. Okay. Lord. Alright, um. I mean, hopefully I don't hit the Vagabond, but if I do, oh well. Okay, good. Good, we didn't hit the Vagabond. We can go on. I think this is going to be the shortest part yet. I'm looking over. It's only been like 12 minutes right now. Unless the Chaz duel wants to take forever, but... Yeah. We'll see. Let's begin this year's school duel between Duel Academy and North Academy. First, from Duel Academy, Jaden Yaki. Ha, <laughs> four kids funny. And his opponent from North Academy... Get off the stage! I'll introduce myself, you scrub. <laughs> Just imagine him dabbing the moment he says scrub. Oh, Crowler looks so sad. Anyway. <laughs> Whoa, maybe you need to calm down. I'll tell you in the calm down, idiot. Maybe you ought to be quiet. It's Chaz's turn now. But then, I don't really need an introduction. After all, everyone here knows who I am. When I left here, I left my old self. Now you're looking at the new and improved chairs. The North Academy chairs. And I'm fucking <laughs> god damn it. And I'm back to chaz it up. Fucking four kids, you made an amazing fucking shit tier meme. <laughs> chaz it up! Chaz it up! I almost want to just give him the level 40 deck just for that alone. You now show you that I'm no slacker, Jaden, and worthy of my family name, even though I don't give a shit about my family at all. My brothers are twerps. Alright, right, now, the continuation of the Jaden Yuki Hour. By the way, you can purchase this to get limited duelists, but I have a bunch of keys anyway, and I never really use them. So why would I ever need to buy that? Why would I ever need to buy anything from this game? I mean, I bought a few, like, mats and stuff, but... Nowhere near the level of whaling that I've done for Dogon and Fire Emblem. Oh no, he's getting the mountain out on the field. He's about to chaz me up with a mountain. There's no way a slifer slacker. I know he probably said that, but uh, why do they always go first when I have the optimal first going hand? That's just what makes me mad. And it seems like I always start with this guy. 
the Super Rush High Long as a backup plan. I, I was about to say, oh, you know what time it is, boys. But I think I'm going to hold on to this in my hand. Instead, we're going to set that down for protection. And we're going to bring the heat. And burn the room! Burn that monster to the ground, anyway. With El Apinta Hilo Heat. Hito! Attack the God with the Sokans! I don't know what the hell I just said there. Oh no, not Troop Dragon. He gets another one. Ah! Oh no, he's probably gonna use that and sacrifice it for Arm Dragon level 5. Ah! Yo, is this level 20 deck about to chaz me up? Am I about to get fucked up by the chat at level 20? Oh, no, okay. Now, if this is probably level 40, he would have done that, but, uh... Thankfully, I guess the game didn't give that to him. Thank God. Alright, can I draw Ocean? No, but I can draw a Fusion Substitute. Alright, you know what time it is again, boys. You know it's time to bring the main player back into the field. You know him. You love him. Or might be slightly indifferent to him. The ace card of this entire series... Elemental Hero. Freeze! 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 Here we go. Elemental Hero Frieza. See, this is this is the Frieza that became a good guy in the Tournament of Power. That's what this Frieza is. It's almost like I'm reading the manga. Anyway. All right. Uh, Telefina! Kill Bugingi Dragon. No, I don't want to use that. And now he's gonna summon another one. Wow, he summoned another one. Just like I said. Alright, well this guy, instead of attacking the dragon guy, we're gonna attack this thing. You know, why didn't he put that in attack mode? Because on his standby, well, I mean, I would have. I would have killed it anyway. Even if he would have put it in, in defensive mode, but. That's neither here or now. Is now, is he going to summon armed Boogie Dragon? No, he's just going to end his turn like a pro. Way to go, man. Way to grow. Way to grow. What a champion. Oh, well, there's Ocean. You're a turn too late, but, uh, hey. Return too late, my friend. But it is okay, because we will end Chaz's life here, and his reign of Chazzing it up will be over. But wait, I've I've killed three of those. Yeah, exactly. Why did you? Did you just want to shuffle your deck just to waste time? Oh, hold on, I gotta check for another one. You already used three Chaz. Then yeah, just give me a minute. And and again. With the main man, Terra Firma. You either die a hero, or you live long enough to get chazzed. Should I say at this point, Chaz? Get chazzed. I already said that. Why am I so lame? Uh. And with that, we have defeated Chaz. We have calmed him down, unwinded his panties, and he joins the regular crew again. And apparently he's better off, he's fine with being in Slifer Red, but he's rebellious and wears the black. And the school says nothing about it, they're just like, ah, fuck it. His parents supply us with, not his parents, but his brothers supply us with like a bunch of funding money. Fuck, let him do what he wants, because we're crooked like that. <laughs> I gotta show them that the Chaz is no slacker. That I can win. That I'm the best. You know, Chaz, you should really chill. Whether you win or lose, if you're having fun, you win every time. Gag me. <laughs> I'm into that. No, really, choke me. Oh, uh, homoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> it's seriously not that hard. Despite what your brothers may want you to believe. Elemental Hero Flame Wingman Skydive Scorcher. Mm -hmm. eh!
again, they were dueling at the bottom of the pit. He's in the shadow room again. He's actually dead. Don't tell nobody, though. I wasn't supposed to lose. Not with my family's name on the line. The esteemed Princetons of the Princeton Estate. But I disgrace them. Oh, you disgrace them ever start you ever since you thought Chaz it up was cool. <laughs> Look who's talking. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, sure you are. But that's because you had two brothers breathing down your neck. At least you fought on your own terms. I know it's cheesy, but I think we both won here. Again, gag me. <laughs> You're right. It is cheesy. Fucking Jane being a lamer. Anyway, I'm not going back to North Academy. Dual Academy was always my home. But since I dropped out, I'm technically a new student. I have to start from the bottom as a slifer red. <laughs> Looks like we're roomies. Not just with us, but also with the roaches and rats we have in here. Hey, not keeping quality student standard of equal amongst all three of the room. Shout out the four kids. How about we give them the slifer cheer? S L. Hi. Oh, you're not part of slifer. Get out of there. Mm e uh, where you're about to go after you hear my poshness for the next twelve hours. <laughs> I forgot they said this. Right now, Slifer's just in the god, like, in his god realm. Like, just... Are you fucking serious right now? What, what is this weeb shit? Obelisk, are you seeing this? <laughs> Meanwhile, Obelisk is just laughing his ass off. Anyway. See, even the dogs think that was lame. You hear Yo, they want four kids the wine creator to die after that one. Can we just stick with Chaz it up? <laughs> Alright, so now we have made it to the final part of our little story of GX, even though we've just skipped like pretty much all of the frockin' uh, frockin' frockin' second half of the first season. Oh, wow, I don't even think they have the characters. It's just literally, you're fighting Uriah, you're fighting Hamon, and you're fighting Ravio. Oh, no. Wow, this is... Because they couldn't put all three of them in one deck, I guess, because with the decks kind of condensed, they would brick away too hard because they each have, like, different strategies. And I'll explain to it as we get to it. But, okay, I guess we're fighting them all as Jaden again because he's Jaden. He's the protagonist. All right, man. Well... I've already kind of covered what happens between this point, and I'll, I'll talk more about the the three knockoff gods, or the sacred beasts, and um, the ending part of season one next time on the finale of the GX story arc. Still hope they come back and do this again, maybe add some of the Shadow Riders, because it kind of sucks that they skip like all the Shadow Riders. I expected them to skip some, but... I was hoping they could have at least covered the important ones, but oh well, what you gonna do? Alright, see you guys then.